Okie dokie. So today we're going to do another page in the Tisha Moore journal, which is this skinny little Diane Reevely flip book. And I'm going to be a little bit more loosey goosey today. I'm loving this red. Like at some point, I almost think I want to do a red journal. But I'm going to use this red page, and I'm tired today. I um, wrote a blog post this morning because it's um, write a blog post a day, month for me, and then I edited another video, and I was getting ready to start another video, and I went, I'm tired. And you know what happens when I try to do stuff when I'm tired is I don't do it as well. It takes longer. And so I thought I'm going to sit down at my desk and I am going to make something fun that makes me happy. And look, I have a red ladybug. So we are going to have this ladybug in here. So I went and I picked this um, picture. Now I have been trying to stay pretty consistent to Tisha's process in each of these. But for this one, I'm going to go a little off-road. Um, I'm going to use some of these things. So I was looking through the pictures that she did, and I was like, okay, this one spoke to me the most because it has these, I want to get into these side circle things or bottom circle things and having layers of them. So that appealed to me. Um, I have these little doggles that I want to use. I have two of them now. So I want to use them, but I don't necessarily want to really change them very much. It's not that I want to stop them from being their little doggy selves. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. I like their hats. I like their, um, their little things. Maybe I do a, um, like these are circles, Karens, or a cross for them. So that's going to be it. So I'm going to cut him out. And then I'm going to have a whole bunch of those um, arcs, right? And I have a red page. So that's what we're going to start with. And so number one, I think I want to... Grab some old paper. So I just have lots of old paper. And I'm going to start by making some uh, circles. Now, this is very delicate old paper. It won't take a lot of um, abuse. I can't, I can't do all the things to the old paper. Um, it will literally lose its mind. So let's get this. Oh, see, I'm getting to feeling better and getting more invigorated. Okay. So I want to make background this is going to be the first swoopy so let's say we're going to do let's start with three because I have plenty to do more and I want to make my tallest swoops right so let's do okay so there's one and that may be too tall but I'm okay with that for right now and I'm not making them especially the same size. Like, I'm not trying specifically to have them be the same size, right? The same height or the same width. And let's do one more. And I think Tisha's are, are wider, right? Are more... Like, like oval, right? So let's see. So more like this, which I think I've messed up on these two. So let's make these. Uh, okay, I have so much little paper that I'm just going to throw those out and it will all will be well. So this is what happened. So I wanted to talk to you guys anyways today because I have been listening to what you say on my comments. Some of the peeps that talk to me. And a lot of you gals are frustrated that you're not very good at doing things, right? Like you're either not good at sticking things down or you're not good at picking images 
or you're not good at different things. And you may even have picked up this video, seen this video and thought, oh, I like to watch the videos and maybe she'll talk about something nice today. And instead I'm gonna nag you because I have the intention of doing lots of Tisha Moore style stuff, right? Um, I am going to do, do we need a couple more? What else? Do, do we need some circles or something? Um, I forgot I was actually working in my journal <laughs> while I was nagging you. So I am going to take lots of Diane Reevely classes. I am going to copy Tisha Moore a bunch of times and I may not be excited by everyone I do and her style isn't my style, but... I'm learning something each time I use um, processes, processes, process I, um, that she did, right? So I don't hardly ever cut out little random circles, but she has random circles, so I'll cut them out. And then I'll find things about her style that I like to incorporate into my style. Now, the way you get a style is, and it's so sweet. My husband, Johnny, um, I showed him the Cosmo layout, Cosmo One Magazine Challenge I, lay, I did. And then I showed him my Tisha Moore um, copycat ones, right? And he's like, oh, I like those, this one better. And it was my style. Now, that could be happening because of a couple different reasons. Number one, it could be he's so used to seeing my style, right? Which is awesome that he knows that he likes my style. Um, it could also be that he doesn't like Tisha Moore's style, right? And that's okay too, because it's not, it's not up to me to determine what he likes, and it's not up to anybody else to determine what you like to make, right? Um, I'm making a cross right now because she has a cross as the base of this. So I may make one of my doggles on a cross. Um, so, and you know this thing has been floating around forever. It's either got to get used today, this jelly thing, or it's got to get thrown out. There's th That's its two choices today. Okay, there's a nice big cross. So now we have a nice big cross. Anyways, so... A couple of things that I could recommend to you. Number one, just stop overthinking and stick some stuff down, right? Like, just don't give yourself the chance to be, um, okay, so now I'm going to make this the same shape-ish. Okay, watch. This is what I'm going to do because this is not my style, so I'm not good at this yet. Okay, boop, boop, boop. So I'm gonna make this the same shape, and then I know I want it to be a lower layer, so I'm gonna come in here, and I'm still gonna try to make it that weird shape for me. I'm more circly, um, rounded, rectangly. See, there we go, that's what I was trying for. Um, and I think I'll do two of these this way. Well, we're, we're, we're stuck with white, stuff on it. Let's try to have as little white stuff, I guess, this way. Okay. And then once we're done with, oh, let's cut out some darn circles. Anyways, so I think that the more you do, actually do it, don't watch people do it. The more that you actually do it is you're going to figure out things that you like and don't like. And I'm going to tell you um, I'm going to show you some stuff, too, in my journals. Stuff that I like and then stuff that I don't like, right? Because I don't like all my stuff. There's lots of my stuff that I don't like. But it's still each one of those things gave me something to either like or not like. And, and so without having a knowledge of what I was good at or not good at. Oh, this is going to be fun. Watch. We're going to make... I'm going to like these ones. I'm cheating, right? All her circles are totally white or totally red. But I like when there's a line down things. So I'm going to... I like when things are half and half. I don't know how to describe that to you. 
So I'm going to make a circle that is half white and half red. Look at me being a rebel. Like I said, I'm not doing exactly what she did. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> I showed that circle. So, anyways, let's get a couple of these things cut out. And I'll stop yelling. Or nagging, I guess. I'm not yelling. Because I really, really... Um, I want you guys to have fun doing this. I mean, I have a blast doing... This is my sort of my job. My real job is being a blogger. Um, in case you ever wondered why I make these videos. I get paid money to be a blogger on Artsy Fartsy Life. And I have ads on my site. And then sometimes if these videos do well... I will make them a video on my artsy fartsy site and and then it's nice and then I make money off of it right so I don't make much money I just got monetized on here um, earlier this year so I don't really make much money for the videos I make here. But number one, I really enjoy doing this. And number two, someday I'll make more money and everything will be okay. Um, I'm not kind of digging that. I love the cross, so we're keeping the cross over here. I'm thinking I might need like a, um, a lower border because I'm almost thinking I want him to... I either want to give him a little, like even a lower one of these... Right, so maybe we make one of these his his body and we can move him down, but I think those are gonna be kind of busy. I need more layers of those. Okay, so let's look through some I had I have um these. Oh I I like I love this color of blue. So I'm gonna do that. Let's do it on the one we don't have another one for. Um I'm going to work on this tonight so I'll do as much as I can with you right now you only can do what you can do I also have um, a big email list for my real site I have a real website called marketing artfully so you guys may see some of my if you join my mailing list people are often confused they're like why do you have marketing artfully well I've been a marketer for years and so I know how to do SEO and all that stuff. Um, but this is my fun part. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, let's take this one, okay? And we're going to make a layer with that line through it so it'll be half and half. So we need this one to get even smaller, right? Now, I think Tisha Moore just goes through and is very good at this, and she just <laughs> draws hers. But I'm derpier than that, and I'm okay. So I'm just gonna, and plus, I've told you this, and it seems very odd to me, but it's true. I'm a better cutter than I am a drawer. I don't know why. Whoa, look at that. Look, there's a line in it. Maybe we leave that one on top for this set of them. Or maybe we leave something there. I, I, something's happening there. It's making me happy. Okay, anything on here? I don't want a little prickly bush, so now I can throw that away. I do not need a lemon tree. I do not need a house. Oh, this is from my father-in-law. My father-in-law pulls out magazine pages for me. And there were a couple things in here I thought maybe I could use. <gasps> Look at those. Look at those. Okay, let's think about this. I kind of want to use those, but I'm doing more of a red teal kind of thing. Otherwise, I would for sure use those. Oh, and I've really been wanting to do red and turquoise. Um, like just a pure red and turquoise one. And I haven't done that yet, so I think I'm, I'm falling into that accidentally. And now I'm excited about it. So we're looking for, uh, see, he's an artist. He's like a real grown-up artist. Um, okay, nothing jumped out at me. That's fine. We'll put this in our 
big bag of tricks. What else we got here? Choo, choo, choo. Some things, some things, some things. Ooh, that's the giant version of that. That's pretty. That's too big for this page. We got a Weensy page. I love her. I don't know who that is, but she's very cute. And there's a cruise ship. Nothing there for us. Okay, what's this? I'm sure you got me those. That's a cool door. That's a cool thing. Coins. I always can use some coins. Uh, I love that stack of books. That's cool. All right, let's use a rolling stone. How about this one? Because I want to keep with the red and the teal, and there's no real teal one. So I'm going to have to go with a red one. This is from, this is my son picked these out for his. My son picks my magazine collage images. That was super fun to do. So I have to tell you about. So now, now I'm going to go into fun and heartwarming. So my children will come and help me do this. And I find that just amazing. My son is 13 years old. My daughter is 16 years old. They have a life. She has a boyfriend. And yet they'll still come and help mom with her art, which just makes me so um, happy. And then the other day I was watching Vicki Booten every Friday. She does these, um, she, she goes on and she does a project with her peeps. I really hate how that looks with this. Like this seems more edgy and cool. And this feels very, um, very twee. Okay. I just wanted to tell you why I hated it. Uh, so anyways, Vicki Booten. So she was, her, I guess her daughter came home and uh, let's see if there's anything in this Cosmo that's just lying out here. Um, her daughter came home from work and she uh, jumped in and she was talking to the, um, the people on the text and, and it was just and Vicky was like, oh my gosh, you guys have given me such a, a, a gift by being nice to my daughter. And, and so she wanted to come and hang out with me. And, and that's truly the, the way it goes. It's like, you know, when your kids, oh, look at those X's. Do we want those? I'm going to take those X's out. Um, when your kids choose to spend time with you and they don't have to, that is just such a, a blessing. Um, and we're super lucky. Our kids don't think we're dorky too much of the time. Well, I do think they think we're dorky, but I don't think, look at that. What about that? That's teal. Is that funky? Huh. I'm going to try it. I don't know. I'm just pulling some stuff out. I'm letting you see what I'm pulling out. I don't know what I'm going to be using. Don't get attached. But we're going to use that. Okay. Ooh, that's a pretty color teal. That is a pretty color. But it has doggies on the back. Sorry. You never know when I need a whole passel of doggies. That's not as pretty a color to, of teal to me. Um, but that was just so sweet that Vicki Booten... I, she, like, she was near tears that her daughter was down doing something that she loved and then she was having a good time so it's not just that they'll do it but that they have fun and they enjoy the process like you guys have seen desi do um heat embossing and josiah will ask me if we are doing some art today can we do some of the uh gel plating and i'm always like yeah yep absolutely we're doing gel plating today what about black is this gonna have black in it they're black. I almost feel like if I leave them black as there's a little hint of black here, but let's not, let's not fall into the black trap. Okay. Anything else jumping out at us? I almost feel like 
feel like she goes with my doggy. Let's get our doggy. Oh, she's too little. Oh, shoot. I'm blowing everything all over. Well, is she too little? Nah. Nope. No people in this one. I'm anti-people. Okay. I wasn't sure there was going to be anything in here. Ooh, that, look at the X's and O's there. Okay. Okay, so here's another little different color with the X's. Can you see them even? They're very faint behind here, but maybe I could outline them. So now I have these bright X's and O's, and I have these subtle X's and O's. I think that, because look, she has, um, like I could use them in these things. I could use them coming down here. Okay. 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 There we go. Let's start actually collecting this stuff. Sometimes I just have piles and piles of stuff sitting around. But let's get this. Let's get this. I mean, I'm starting to feel like I have plenty of stuff here, but... You never know. I'm going to go through one more magazine, and then I'll show you the stuff I like and I don't like. I didn't forget I told you I would do that. Okay, this to me is not um, teal. That to me is more blue. So I either want teal or red. So I have a two-color color palette, except for the doggles who are... Oh, I don't know what magazine this is, but I think I just used it not that long. Oh, Magnolia. Yeah, I didn't use it. I'm picking all the good ones that are that are new, that haven't been harvested. Now, that I could maybe use, that color. Let's keep looking. I'm keeping up. Oh, my germs. I love my germs. Now, this is a nice... Okay, so this has really nice paper. Those are nice germy papers. I'm going to keep that one. This magazine is a delightful magazine with good paper. <laughs> this is the one, this is what we just cut up for the half of thing. You'll find when you start to, uh, to get different magazines, especially from the same time, um, you'll have more than one of the same thing. That's how I got the two doggies that look exactly the same, right? They were in some kind of strange doggy ad. All right. I feel like, ooh, that to me feels like teal. I'm going to take that out. Uh-oh, I lost one of my happy circles. It was almost a debacle. Okay. Bees. Love bees. That's my only tattoo is a bee. All right, those are the wrong color. As I say that, yeah, it's more peach than red. I'm not good at looking for red. I'm very good at looking for blue and black and white. Those are colors I tend to gravitate towards. And then I'm good at looking at green, um, like, uh, leaves and stuff. So this is almost teal, but this is more of a forest green. And I could pop, well, no, I don't want to use the back of the page. So, okay, that's what we got. So let's grab a few journals. This is the color block journal. So let's open it up the right way. Oh, this isn't the color block journal. This is my normal journal. Okay, adore everything about this. This is just one of those ones that came together, and so I laminated it for a cover. I like the birdies. I like how I put washi tape. Oh, I'm going to have to remember to do that more, how I put washi tape over those words. I love everything. Love everything. Except for this um, embossing in the back, but I can live with that. Uh, meh. I don't love, I mean, I love the whole picture. Like the entire composition. I love the little dealy bobs. I love that. I don't love how this came out. And I'm not sure I love how those came out. 
But this was totally not my design. This is where I took a coloring book page from somebody else. So had I done this maybe with real flowers or whatever, I would have loved it, but that's okay. As I go, I get better. I hate the way she looks, but I love this composition. Her teeth are upside down. Her eyes are upside down. I think this was maybe one of the first times I really felt like I was playing with um, eyes and noses and things like that. Uh, this one feels too busy for me. It just, uh, you know, it's okay. It doesn't bother me, but it's not my favorite. This one I like because I did it for my husband. I think I need a ton more doodles to make this fun, but this will be one that um, I will just, on a day when I don't feel like working, I'll doodle. Uh, this one, I love how the cat came out. I love this bush. I know you're like, why would you love a bush? I love the bush. I like this. These guys are okay. Like they're, I don't mind them. I've been wanting to do a banner. It's okay. Um, this one, I just, I mean, it's somebody else's artwork. I love this, but it's just because I love this girl. So, um, I haven't done anything with her yet. This one is meh. It's okay. I like all the black embossing on it. Uh, Godzilla, I had a good time doing. This is an in-progress one that I haven't done. This was a lot of work, and um, it's got all kinds of little gizmos. I enjoyed doing it, but it's not my style. It's more um, when I got all this stuff for the vintage -y things, um, and then I found out I like a more contemporary style, but that's fine. This girl I'm working on, this is a, this is a page that I put my heart into. It was on the day... Um, after the sedition attempt in the United States, and I've journaled about my feelings. Um, I'm super patriotic because I grew up in the North, and anyways. This one turned out okay. I like the idea. I don't think I changed them enough. I, it was kind of earlier. Um, now that I'm an older journaler, this one is fun because I wrote on it. It's just kind of a mess. It's just a play one. This is maybe my second favorite after the surfing guy. Um, I don't like these guys at all, so I'll probably do, I'll either cut them up or do something with them. I don't know what this page is, but I like this page very much. I think I like it because it's blue, uh, it's red and teal. So that's that. Now let's go to newer ones that I like and I don't like. Okay, what I like and I don't like. I don't like their little heads. It didn't, it didn't do anything for me. I like the circles done that way. I like the, I'm working on getting more things out. I, this is a shoe. And this was one of the first ones where I did these little schnuggy schnuggies. And I don't think they're very good. I'll show you. They got better. <laughs> um, I don't like this page very much. I didn't wind up liking this. This is okay. She's okay, but hmm, it's okay. And then this one, I like very much, and I like her eye. She has a beautiful eye. I like the red. I like the doodling I did. I like having birdie friends. But I don't know, I can't tell you why this composition makes me so happy, but I like this composition a lot. So, so I can tell you what I like and I don't like because I've done things, so do things. Um, I'm going to go work on my Tisha Moore style journal and I'll show you that one at the end. This was just more of a, a talky talk as I was collecting my pages. I'll be back. Okie dokie. So a couple things. While you were gone, I got this cool pin with a dangly bee thing for my art glitter glue, which is super exciting. I got it on Etsy. It was ten dollars including shipping i thought that was amazing anyways back to magazine clutch i will put a link to my um which is the best glue for everything video so this is what i came up with and i thought this turned out pretty cool i was excited about it um I decided to put the two doggles together. I used paint to make everything kind of red. I don't think this is as red as this is, um, but I liked it. This was more, like the other side was more colorful, but I liked the plainness of this. 
And then I did a kind of side over here where we had the teal and the red, so all kinds of teal and red things. I made some extra squiggles. This was like the Tisha Moore picture with the cross on the cross. Um, so all in all, for a real quick little one, I thought this came out great. So now our Tisha Moore book is this red one, this one, this yellow one, and this orange one. So we're getting we're getting through it. We're gonna have one for all the pages. So she did a lot of stuff, so we'll have fun doing this together. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.